guys, I'm Rich Woods from NeoWin. Today I want to uh, take a look at Micros the new Microsoft Garage Project Hub Keyboard. Um, I've been using it all day. I typically use the entire Microsoft experience on Android. I have the next lock screen here. And then I have the arrow launcher. So I was happy to see the, the Hub Keyboard show up. Um, I'd like to see Wordflow show up. We know it's going to show up on iOS relatively soon. Um, hopefully it'll show up on Android too. Um, so let's, let's take a look at the hub keyboard. Okay. So I started with the settings here for a reason. Um, so a couple things I just want to show, um, the office 365 account, right? You can search for documents and stuff in the, in the keyboard, but notice that you can log in with a work school or university account to access documents. Most of us are going to be left out in the cold there. All right. Um, if you're an Office 365 home user or Office 365 personal user like I am, you just can't use it. And what it's going to tell you is that it doesn't support MSA accounts, right? So that was a bit disappointing to me. Um, so extensions we have here, clipboard, access to your clipboard, access three, um, Office 365 documents in OneDrive and SharePoint. Um, the sad thing about that is, like I said, I can't sign in with my Microsoft account to this application. So I can't access those Office 365 documents in OneDrive. All right. Access the contact contacts from your phone and Office 365 account. And then Translator, which is pretty cool. So there's key vibration and key click sound on the bottom. And by the way, it does imply that new extensions will be added. So there is going to be new features. All right. It's a cool idea in concept. All right. So this is the keyboard right here. Um, these are, are those, those four extensions at the, the top of the screen here. All right. So hitting this button just simply takes those away. Um, this button goes to your clipboard, right? So you can, you can paste items from your, your clipboard there. And another thing that you can do, which is pretty cool, right? I copied goodbye, but if you click this little icon over there, you could, um, paste things that you copied earlier, which is really helpful if you copied something and then copied something else again you don't want to lose that first thing that you copied so that's pretty cool one thing that i noticed about this keyboard which isn't optimal is that there's no swiping all right so we're waiting for a word flow and <laughs> because that's why i mentioned the word flow is because there is no swiping here which which just isn't great and if you try to swipe it's gonna it's gonna use the the secondary character there notice um and the, you saw the settings, there's no option to, to turn swipe on. Um, another thing that, that it does, if you have it set to, to regular typing, um, you go back, it doesn't turn caps lock back on when it should. This is in beta, so, so these are things that are going to be fixed. Um, actually, I have no idea if they're going to add swipe keyboard. Obviously, this will be fixed. All right. We have no right to complain about betas. All right, so the next one, documents. This is where it asks you to sign into Office 365, and it says log in with a work, school, or university account. I'm not even going to bother. It's just going to tell me that, and, and it'll it'll let you type in your password too. It asks for your email. You click next. You type in a password, and then and then it says sorry, you can't sign in. All right. So type to search your local contacts. All right, and we can go, and you notice that the 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 contacts show up. All right. Um. And finally, we have Translate, which is pretty cool. Um, you can type and you could say, hello, and it turns into hola. All right, we have options here. We can change language settings. All right, and this is <laughs> this is, will allow you, you, well, obviously you're gonna want it on detect. If you want it to be a little more specific, you can make sure that it's gonna detect your language, and then you can switch it to anything you want, which is, Really pretty phenomenal. Now it's Allo. Anyway, guys, that is the hub keyboard, and that's all it does right now. Um, I don't really recommend using it as your daily driver keyboard because, honestly, it just it needs work. It's still a beta. You know, when the final product is here, I'm sure it's going to be fantastic, and I recommend waiting for that. If you want to download it and try it out, you could leave feedback on it because... As we saw, there is an option for feedback in the settings, right? And um, and that will help them to know that maybe they should add word flow or any kind of swipe, right? So 
that's about it. As you can see, predictive typing is there as well. Um, so that's about it. Anyway, guys, I'm Rich Woods from NeoWin. Have a great night.